What's up guys? It's Sunday again and some of you guys may be getting hit with that Sunday scariest feeling of getting ready for work Monday morning. I don't know like how many of you had been working from home for a while or maybe still are or are kind of alternating um, part from home, part from the office. And it can be hard to transition back into getting full on ready in the mornings for the office, I'm not gonna lie. Um, some people have talked to me about like working in offices like professional law offices and people coming into work in just like way more casual than business casual attire, like wrinkled clothes and flip flops and like see-through leggings and stuff like that, which don't, I'm not judging, I don't blame you. I would totally do that if I felt like it was accepted at my job. Um, if I, you know, I'm at home, that's probably how you'll find me, unless there's like a Zoom call and then I'll be like, you know, business on top, PJ on the bottom. However, I did wanna share a few tips that I do have for kind of getting ready in the morning, business casual attire. A uh, sort of like lazier way to approach it or not necessarily lazy but like I personally sleep as late as I can and hit that snooze as many times as possible without knowing that I'm gonna be late for work so I give myself like a bare minimum amount of time to get ready in the morning sometimes saving 10 seconds here and there makes all the difference because if I leave the house 10 seconds later I hit all the red lights and then I'm five minutes late for work whereas if I left that 10 seconds earlier I hit all the greens and I make it with a couple minutes to spare. So trust me, I know like 10 seconds here and there saves a lot of time. So what I did recently is move some things around in my closet. I previously had all my business casual tops in one section, which was the middle section of my closet. And then in the two tier section of my closet, I had casual like weekend casual attire on top and like shirts on top and then I had all my pants, business, casual, whatever, pants on the bottom. And I recently just decided to do a little swap of putting business casual tops right above the pants in that two tiered section. So that I could just grab a top from the top and a bottom from the bottom. And that makes things a little bit more simple just because that middle section is kind of blocked by the sliding doors if I slide them to one side. I can't see one side of the so, like selection of shirts in that middle. Same thing on the other side, so I kind of had to slide it back and forth a couple times to see like all the tops in there. And I know it sounds silly and how much time does it really save not sliding the closet door back and forth, but like I said in the morning, I just want to grab something and get ready and get out the door. So. That saves me a lot of time because then I have just one side of the closet to look in and focus on and pick a top from the top, pick pants from the bottom. You can always pre-choose your outfit the night before and just move the top that you want to wear that day to one side, the first kind of closest to you. So it's the first shirt there and then same thing with the pants. So you grab the, the top and pants right there on the, the top that are already picked out for you. Um, another way that you can do it is to uh, pick out your top maybe and keep your top ready and take your uh, pants or change of clothes, maybe both your top and pants into the restroom and hang those on the door. Uh, Cause you get up in the morning, you automatically you know, go in the restroom, you're basically halfway un dresser already so instead of just pulling your pajama pants back up you just switch into your work pants put your top on i do have my jewelry um, all hanging on a jewelry organizer hanging off the back of the bathroom door so on my way out i can just grab an accessory spruce up the outfit a little bit and ready to roll. So that's another way of picking out an outfit that makes it easier. And then in terms of like, not always wearing a top and pants, um, I do have dresses all towards one side of my closet as well. 
and I do keep like fancier dresses more towards the back section and the more professional kind of polished looking dresses um, I keep towards the front um, section, the easier to grab section. So I can just pull those out. And then I have a drawer that has tights and leggings in it. Uh, I avoid hanging my leggings on a pants hanger in the closet because that feeds into the temptation of just like grabbing leggings and wearing those as my pants to work because they're so comfortable. And a lot of them are full co coverage or not super thin, but still it doesn't look like the most polished um, in terms of like a business professional versus casual environment. So for those cases, I definitely keep my leggings folded in the drawer. That way, obviously I know I can still take them out of the drawer, but it's out of sight, out of mind, sort of mind trick um, for that. And if I do pull the leggings out, if I really want to wear them, I know then I'm going to have to come to the other side of the closet and grab a dress or a longer shirt, a longer top that's going to cover the waist and rear bum area so that I can wear that to work and feel okay about it. And um, I mean, I definitely think there's nothing wrong with wearing leggings underneath a longer um, dressier top or a dress to work. Honestly, in terms of shoes, I have like all kinds of piles of shoes on shelves and at the bottom of the closet, but I do also keep a few pairs of shoes out here that are ready to just slip on on the way out the door, a combination of sandals and flats and different neutral colors that can go with any outfit. So that's just kind of how I set myself up and set my closet up to set myself up for success and keep myself organized in the morning, minimize the amount of thinking that has to go on in the morning, minimize the amount of trying on and deciding. Uh, on the weekend, it's a good idea to try on things that maybe you haven't worn in a while and you're not sure if they fit you or if they look cute together. Do your, a little try on sesh for yourself on the weekend and rule out anything that doesn't work for you, doesn't fit, put it aside to donate it or move it towards the back of the closet if it doesn't fit right now, but you think it's gonna fit you soon, like keep it just tucked away back there, but don't mix it in to the front into the rotation of like your go-to items that you pick and choose from all the time. So those are just my little tips. I hope that you found them helpful. If you think this video was fun, inspirational, helpful, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with a friend that maybe you feel could use some tips or would just enjoy the content on my channel. Be sure to check out my variety of DIY and lifestyle tips and hacks and I would love to see you next time. Have a great week everyone.